Welcome to Wednesdays with Wayne. We've got a beautiful day again here at Walters Gardens and I want to talk about some of the newer plants that we've either just gotten and are for sale or some of those that we're going to get for the future. Let's start with chartreuse on the loose. This is quickly becoming one of my favorites. It is only about eight to 10 inches tall. Got this great chartreuse foliage to it. And the nice thing about this it starts blooming very early, the end of April or first part of May, and will continue producing new blooms probably till frost. We're kind of also excited about some of the newer stuff coming up. Uh, this iris is a Siberian iris called eyeliner. Uh, Siberian iris are very adaptable to wetter situations, full sun, but beautiful flower to it. Pretty excited about that. One plant that we're trialing and I think will be really neat, Baptisias, as we know, get to be a very, very large plant. So this will get to be about three, maybe four foot tall by three to four foot wide. But what I'm loving about this is this golden foliage. This one's called Golden Anniversary. Baptisia, again, a very durable plant, a very long lived plant, blooming in the spring, followed up by this great chartreuse foliage. Here we're looking at one of the new yarrows. This one is the Firefly series called Red Pop. Again, I'm liking yarrows for the fact that they are very uh, sun tolerant, uh, very durable, good in dry conditions. Uh, th this is a very low maintenance plant. This is Artemisia silver lining, and the pro about this is that it does not spread by underground rhizomes, so this is a little bit more clump forming, but Dana and I saw this in the garden, both good and bad. Uh, sometimes it's kind of laying down. Uh, it's really only supposed to be 12 to 16 inches tall, but sometimes it was a little bit taller. We saw it a little bit hanging over edges, which could be advantageous of a retaining wall, uh, but not always neat in appearance. The pro side, again, got a great silver foliage, very low maintenance, hot and dry. I'm finally here with Spigela, Rage and Cajun, and there's been a lot of talk about this, again, being one of the native cultivars, a uh, really durable plant once established. I do find it takes a while to get it going and to get it looking good. Uh, full sun, part shade, well-drained site, but the blooms on this I think are spectacular and they go on for weeks if not months. So this is one that I think everyone really needs to take a look at. So thanks for joining Wednesdays with Wayne, sponsored by Niemeyer's Landscape Supply. And remember, beautiful landscapes start here. Wow.